Hello dreamers, this is Melody Pash, the Dream Diva, and I want to talk to you today about a couple of things. Let's start with eyeglasses, right? You're going to um, have eyeglasses in your dream when the Lord is trying to talk to you about altering your vision or clearing up your vision, giving you better clarity of vision. That's what your glasses are going to be. It's going to be like new lenses, new glasses, new contacts in your dreams, new lenses, right? You're going to get to see more clearly. You're going to have better revelation and probably better discernment because you're able to see more clearly because you have the right prescription, right, from the great, the great optometrist, <laughs> the God who created you. So that's the positive of glasses or of contacts. Now, the negative that of that is going to be, again, it's going to be about altered or adjusted vision. So, and sunglasses are going to be seeing things darkly, not being able to see clearly. So if it's got a negative connotation and the glasses that you're wearing, you can't see clearly through, there's some sort of um, dirt on them or they're foggy or the uh, prescription is not correct. That's the enemy trying to get you to see without clarity. You're, you're probably even judging things inappropriately or incorrectly because you're not seeing them as they are. So on the back of that, what I want to also talk to you about is periphery, your periphery, peripheral vision. That is really, really important. So I'm just going to throw that in with the glasses and the vision and the all of the fresh lenses, right? So let's talk about um, what, what periphery is. The meaning of periphery or peripheral is the external boundary of a surface or area. So that's when I can see my hand over here, but I'm not actually looking at it, right? I can see the movement. I know something's there, but I'm not actually looking directly at it. That's your peripheral. That's your periphery. Now, there is a spiritual periphery that we need to be aware of as well. So your spiritual periphery might relate to the limitations, sometimes limitations, of your spiritual understanding. If your spiritual periphery is not fully or properly developed, then your discernment is probably impaired, maybe even distorted. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, there's a lot of information here. This might, might wind up a, a short course because the spiritual periphery is a big deal. So um, we may have only the ability to see in, say, a one-point perspective if you can't see well in your peripheral vision. You can only see what's straight in front of you. I only see one perspective. I judge everything based upon one perspective because I can't see what's out here. I can't discern what's out here. So this almost also limits our scope of discernment. Just like I was saying, it's going to limit your scope of discernment. Uh, what we're unaware of are obstacles that uh, might cause us to fall or be off balance. We only we may uh, be taken off guard because our safety is compromised because we can't see like changes in grade levels on the ground. So if I can't see with my spiritual periphery that a stair is coming, either down or up, either descending or ascending, I'm probably going to trip and fall because it's going to be an obstacle or maybe something's in my path that would cause me to trip and fall. And if my periphery is affecting my depth perception, then it's also affecting my balance. See how that works? So that's going to be causing 
a distorted vision where we sense things, everything to be flat, just flat, one perspective. It becomes perverted. And sometimes it's perverted based upon uh, what's in our filters, things that maybe haven't gotten hit, uh, healed in our filters or maybe even fragments are parts in us that have not been dealt with. That's that's what that's about. Um, we are also going to have a deficiency in dimensional understanding that causes spiritual limitations in seeing shapes or form. So that might mean that you're also having trouble discerning the form of the Spirit of God or heavenly entities, the angelic. All of this can be affected by our having a distorted or a perverted vision. It affects, it's going to affect our discernment. But that periphery, which is the, the outer limits of what we see, seems to be in our minds ancillary or irrelevant. But those things especially the things beneath you or above you are going to be very important. What if you're riding a horse and you're riding through a forest and you're coming upon a tree and there's a low hanging limb, but your depth perception is not good. So you can't see that it's going to hit you right in the, in the head and maybe knock you off the horse, right? That's, those are the things that we're talking about. Uh, we need this awareness, awareness of perception for guarding effectively from subversive attacks from the enemy. Um, this is part of our natural ability to protect ourselves. In other words, if we cannot see with our spiritual periphery, we're going to miss the enemy over here trying to mess with us when we're focused on something else. We may miss something out here, and he is aware that we're missing it so he can sneak up on us. And oftentimes that's with familiar spirits because they can get very close without us realizing they're there to already whisper in our ears, and we're already having tea and crumpets with it, right? So we also need that awareness of perception to gain a broader perspective and understanding, giving richness and color to what we see and what we can envision, what, what vision God gives us. If we're seeing distorted or through limitations, and we're only seeing one point perspectives, then we're limited in seeing the broad spectrum of the impossibilities that God can um, release into our lives and can endow us with because we're not aware of them. We can't see that possibility. It also opens our discernment up for greater efficacy. You're going to be more effective when you have very good spiritual periphery and good discernment, very good discernment. We cannot accurately judge or perceive without the productivity of a broader scope and range of sight. Again, if you are trying to walk along, you know, a sidewalk, but stairs come up and you can't see them without looking down, then you're going to miss that obstacle and it's probably going to cause some real issues and maybe accident and injury, which is you know, the ploy of the enemy anyway. We also need to be able to see and acknowledge, <clears throat> excuse me, those multi-layered and multi-dimensional um, spatial awareness. We need, we need uh, multi-dimensional spatial awareness so that we can actually aware other dimensions, be aware of other dimensions and other realms around us. Because the enemy operates in other realms around us, and we need to discern that. But God also operates in other realms around us, and we need to discern that as well. We, we want to be able to see that as well. 
and it gives balance to our surroundings by securing accurate depth perception and otherwise we perceive everything flat and without shape and and projection if we're if we're perceiving everything flat one dimensional you know that dogma of it can only be this way then we're going to miss out on a lot because god is never limited and he never limits us because we're made in his image there is a movie that i'm going to suggest that everybody watch if you like action adventure kind of and it's sort of a it's not a scary show but it's sort of a thriller in that it's sort of very action packed the movie is called vantage point and it was um it was produced in 2008 and it is a great movie. It's an action thriller focusing on an assassination attempt on the President of the United States as seen from different vantage points of various characters in the movie. It's really wonderful because you've got these five or six different characters who are giving their their testimony, you know, and their their witness of what happened so that they can find evidence of of who this um assassinate uh, assassin was trying to kill the the president of the united states but you've got five different perspectives that are in different places in the crowd and they all see something completely different one of them sees something through you know a, a group of people talking and distracting and somebody else sees it you know through some other uh, experience or some other instance and circumstance and situation and it's very very interesting it will help you understand how how different we all see things and it will also encourage you to give grace to others who don't really understand what you're trying to say sometimes because they can't see what it is that you're describing they don't have the same perspective that that you do right so i hope that helps a lot with eyeglasses uh, contact lenses and especially peripheral vision hope that helps a lot and thanks so much for watching